Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Technique Tuesday. I know it looks like I took my entire recycle bin and just dumped it on my desk, but um, that is not true because, unfortunately, where I live, we can't recycle. So, in a sense, this is my everyday. And I wanted to show you how you can use just regular items around the house to help organize yourself. So this is more of a tip day than a technique day. But I wanted to just show you how I've used some of these containers that come across um, in my that I come across in my life. So let's start here. Uh, toilet paper rolls. <laughs> these are awesome for holding rolls of Cricut vinyl or wrapping paper. All you need to do is cut off about a two inch piece, take your roll, tighten it up, slide it through, and it holds it perfectly. Don't put rubber bands around these because they will actually leave markings on your vinyl. Here I've got a couple of, oh, I don't know, they're probably yogurt cups or something, and I've used them for paint containers. Same with little containers like this. I can put a little bit of paint in them and use them just like that. These containers, no telling where I got them from, but they're perfect for just little, little things. And you can even write on them. Take a Sharpie, write on what it is. These are those cute little ketchup or jelly containers that you get um, when you stay some at some of the fancy restaurants or sorry fancy hotels <laughs> hope you're not staying at a restaurant but anyway so I put my cute little uh, clips in there this one's got thumbtacks this one has these adorable little clothespins you can see that's a little slightly different one I think that had honey in it at one time. These have my jump rings in them, and you can even write on them. Uh, I'd suggest using a different color than that, because that didn't work well. You write on the top, you can write on the side. It doesn't matter. It's yours. And now I can line these up on my shelf, and I can see what I've got. Uh, also, the food delivery service that I used, some of their stuff came in these cardboard containers. And so I saved them, you can write on them, and you can put all your stuff in them and put them on your shelf so you know what's there. You with me so far? Let's keep going. I wasn't done yet. Styrofoam cups, perfect for putting your paint paintbrushes in. Just store them or rinse them. And if you want to, you can flip them over, punch a hole in the end, and stick them in there, and you can let them dry. Let your paintbrushes dry like that. I do keep old ribbon rolls so that when I have a piece of random rip, excuse me, random ribbon, I've got something to put it back onto. Again, I know it looks like I'm I'm two steps into being a hoarder here, doesn't it? Uh, any kind of rolls. This had grocery store sh sushi in it. Don't judge me, but that's what it had. And it works perfectly as a paint container. Again, paintbrush storage. This has a lid. Put it on there and take the wrapper off, obviously, and there you've got something to put your paintbrushes in. These, same, these were soup containers. And I can just put whatever I want in them. If you want to stick a label on them, stick them on your shelf. Nice organizational system. Paint. This was cookies that were brought to us at Christmas time. This will work perfect for paint, as will the back side of the lid. Um, all of these work well for either painting and or storage. So you see I've got some bigger containers, I've got little, this one's cute, I think it was jelly was in there, again, 
some kind of, oh yeah, probably sushi again. I know, I know. And then even medication bottles work great for storage or stick your paintbrushes in them. The other thing I have are, this is a Parmesan cheese container from one of the big bulk box stores. And I've put my Q-tips in there. This one I've got clothespins. Uh, tip within a tip here, if you're going to use clothespins to hold your stuff while it's drying, put a little uh, peel and stick felt on the inside of it so that when you're holding your items it's not leaving an indentation in it. So I just put a little felt on there. These are also handy. They're from the formerly known as Dollar Tree, the Dollar 25 tree now, but they've got these great compartments, perfect for storing jump rings, things like that. So let's go back, let me get this out of the way, and let's go back to my Parmesan cheese. So this is a great way to store items, and you can put them on your shelf just like that, but you can also label them. So I took my Cricut and made myself a label, press that on there, and now I know exactly what's in it. So hopefully you've got some helpful hints to help you clean up your craft area and stay organized without breaking the bank. Thanks everybody!